I want to share a tune with you now called the Teepee Tune, which I wrote with a kind of Native American flavour, hence the name. So it's in D minor pentatonic. So we got this. And we've also got the C beneath the D there. So this is really going to be a test of your how well you're covering the holes on the recorder because it will just squeak if you haven't got them completely covered. So it's really important to have very good strong low notes because they're the foundation of the higher notes. So the scale. And that was without articulation, which is a really important way to play scales because then you know whether you've got any glitches in your fingering. So we're going D, F, G, A, C, D. But the tune itself uses a lot of articulation, so I've got this kind of taka kata taka taka kata taka taka kata taka taka kata, and that takes some practice. Um, you can use different syllables taka kata or taka taka kata. I don't do that one. <laughs> so taka kata is what I'm using. And you can almost deliberately overblow, so you almost get that little hint of the next octave up on that low D. But that's more subtle, make sure you just got the basic. Um, and on the F as well. So, you know, get really comfortable with the notes, the articulation, the fingering, the scale. And also do some impro with it, you know. Um, sometimes it's useful to put on a drone, but don't need it. You can just get really free and loose with the notes. I'm, I'm articulating that A with the index finger there. Articulating the G with the third finger. Articulating the F with that third finger. These are all techniques from Tim Whistle playing. The tune doesn't go that high, but why not? And then the tune itself. that's the tune and the tempo wants to be really kind of tight and on the beat so the, the amount of time you hold those notes is really important so you come back right on the beat and I certainly encourage people to practice with a metronome sometimes and um, they can be a you know, old-fashioned proper metronome or a digital one it's really good to get in the habit of being incredibly precise with your rhythm you don't always want to play like that, but you want to have that ability if needed. So I don't know how much more to say about this tune, really, and just to give you the outline again. That's 
that's maybe going to be challenging. Should go from the F there to the C. That's the faster version. Or the A part that you repeat twice and then the B part is actually shorter um, and you repeat it twice so the whole section ends up being shorter okay so there it is that's the TP tune played up on Udbra Beacon in Devon Hope you enjoyed it. Please like, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.